Hello, I'm Andrew Lissi, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as Mexico! We've got to defeat Italy and Yugoslavia, and then we're golden. I mean, also a lot of the units that were left behind. We should be able to do that. Right. Just got to get on the borders that have just suddenly been created. Get ourselves an offensive line. There we go. And honestly, just push. If you think you can do it, not everywhere, you numpty. In the places where you think you can win, for God's sake. <laughs> They've got forces trapped in Luxembourg, but they can't participate because it's neutral territory. That's stupid. Well done. Dijon is now ours. Dijon is now ours. There we go. The Maginot Line is just going to be a nightmare to take. But if we can cut them off by taking over, say, parts of Switzerland. I mean, to do that, we have to take over the parts of Switzerland. Which would be great if we could. Come on. There we go. It's a little bit more gusto there. I think they're retreating out of the Maginot line now. Oh, we've got spare military factories, but I don't know what to use them on. Oh, of course they do. What am I talking about? Jet fighter. Done. How many jet fights do we have? 3.7. Not enough. We need more. More, 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 more. Honestly, we might as well defeat, like, Spain while we're here. But I'm not really sure if there's a point to doing that, because... They don't really have an army? I mean, I guess it's a way to stop them from ever having an army, right? Might as well. Otherwise, they might actually get ideas like, you know, develop an army. And that just wouldn't do. Right, how's the manpower looking? Eh, we can continue. Five percent national unity. Who is that leader? Okay. Vezio. Regency Council for Prince Paul, who admittedly looks like he might be able to be old enough to rule. How are you doing for uh, four thousand? Keep checking the jet fighters, just wishing Oh, we always got four thousand jet fighters. It would be costly. But I think it's worth it. I kind of wish that the dead ones just disappeared. Because it's not really helpful to have them hanging around. Right. Deploy to Italy. Yeah, you can cover it. Sweet. More jet fighters. Jet fighter, jet fighter, jet fighter, jet fighter, jet fighter. And you can have unassigned. And we can fit another thousand in over here. There we go. 3,000 versus 4.5. And if they lose, we nuke them. Simple. Ooh, manpower's really dropping now. 200k. Which 
200k. Oh, below 200k. Okay, I think this is where we have to pull the trigger and stop for the moment. We'll finish off the attacks we're doing. Some of them are successful, at least. Uh, this attack over here, honestly, though, this one can continue. This one is easy. Whoa! 10,000 fighters suddenly appeared. Yeah. Great. They've got a 10 out of 10 fort <laughs> with quite a few units on it. I can't attack it. It's also got a little town as well. Like, I can't do anything to it. Most I can do is just nuke it into oblivion. Which is actually something I might do. Oh, is this a 10 out of 10 fort? Ah, uh, it's a 3 out of 10. It's still ridiculously tough to take. We took it, though. They are losing attrition here. So I think we'll just give them a little bit longer. Make a bid for Genoa. There's some defenses along there. Eighty thousand. Oh dear, it is really dropping pretty low. Whew. Three thousand versus seven, eleven, seven, eleven. Our fight is. We only lost five hundred. They've lost nine hundred. Actually, we're pulling two for one. I don't know if two for one is going to be enough, but it's good. What, what is there left to do? Oh, I guess we could research another fighter for our carriers. What do we need? Well, quite frankly, I think you've guessed it. We need another bleeding jet fighter. There we go, finally. Now they can't run. I'd be a bit more assertive about how you, like, just start attacking places. In fact, just go crazy. Right, how's the air battle going? Uh, 3,000 versus 11,000. We're still almost pulling in two for one. Almost. But the promise is about numbered three to one. I guess the question is, can they replenish their losses? Because we're not keeping up, but we're doing pretty reasonably at pumping out a, a good number. Yeah, Spain's easy. Okay, get another tank around there. Looks like they're defending pretty well. I kind of would expect them to go down by now. What's giving them that defense? Air power? Mostly air power. Okay. One mechanized, one motorized, holding out ridiculously well. With a reserve of one incredibly badly damaged infantry. Hmm. Come on, you can defeat them. They're a joke.
Come on. Almost there. It's just that, that one mechanise. It's holding up pretty well. Nash of Spain's capitulated. Well, you know, that was going to happen. I'll look at it in a second. This is much more important. It's just that mechanise now. Oh, cunning. Cunning there. It's not going to last very long. There we go. 92. 93. Oh, done, right. Let's hit him with everything we got. Meanwhile, air battle. Still at number three for one. We're still pulling in two for one on kills. Crazy, right, carrier. Yeah, National Spain went down easily. Let's get you to, like, go around the circle a few times, and then straight down to Rome. How many jet fighters we got? Almost got a thousand, actually. Our losses are not actually slowing us down. We're actually producing enough jet fighters right now that we can produce another thousand sometime in the future. Uh, everything has been done in that tree. Everything is being done in that tree. Everything's been done in that tree. Oh, I guess we could do like heavy fighters and stuff, or close air support or something from there. I guess. Honestly, I don't know why we're even bothering the research anymore. It's just time-consuming. We done everything over here. You know what? Let's do paratroopers because we can. Also, because we've got bonus to them. And more jet fighters, because we can. Okay, yes, a living legend is better. Yes, who dares wins. All it means is that my, like, legendary pilot track is going to be filled up with coffins that just never disappear. you think someone would bury the damn things. And... crushed it. Right. Now you... Run for Belgrade. It's it's a bit of a long run, but we're gonna try it nonetheless. This attack here is horrific. Ooh, that's a pretty cool mechanized. Hello. Okay, when this, like, group hits, they should hit, like, a truck. Because they have tanks. And mechanized. There we go. Come on. Keep it up. Come on, get the next lot in. Going, 90. Come on. And that's without the tanks. Now we've got the tanks. 91. 92. 93. And 
motor actually died relatively quick. Yeah, that attack's failed there. How are we doing at the uh, air war there? Still number three to one. I'm actually losing jet fighters. Come on, 99. There we go, 100. Right, make a dash for it. Meantime, I will need some of you to make dashes for places like Florence because uh, you're meant to be vacationing. And Livno because I want them to just grab effectively as many victory points as we can. We might be able to get Italy to capitulate. Unlikely, but we can try. Yeah, nothing's defended down here. And now they've realized their mistake. Rome is... Ours. We're going to try and cut off the bottom of it from them. Yeah, you can hold on to the Alps as much as you want. Like, that doesn't make a difference to me. What I can do, however, is just grab most of Italy. And you know what? Even with the low manpower we've got, I'm going to do it. How are we doing down there? Pretty good. Not sure why you're attacking quite so everywhere, but then I remember it's because I've got this setting on. Which is the everyone should suicide on the front setting. Alternatively, when you need it, it's the everyone advance, come on, there's no one there setting. But Italy should be out of the game with this. How close are you to surrendering? I don't know why it doesn't, like, rank it by importance. It's not done by, like, uh, alphabetical either. 50-50, sort of. <sighs> this war is just never going to end, is it? Oh, has everyone just pulled away from this entire front? Yes, yes, they have. Okay, don't do that. That's a little bit much. That's going to result in them pushing out if you're not careful. And I don't want them punching out of our uh, carefully contained corral. I guess we've got naval bombers. I don't really care. Yeah, we're now taking massive losses onto our jet fighters. Come on. Kill it. Kill it. Take an awfully long time to kill it. Right. Also, if no one's defending that... Just advance on it. Hopefully we can win this war relatively quickly. I mean, going into Yugoslavia is always going to be pain because it's such a narrow gap. I 
Jeff. More, more Jeff fighters? I mean, I know it's a surprise move there. You might not have necessarily expected that. I know, I shock myself sometimes with the choices, but yes, it's going to be a jet fighter. And yes, I have 81 nuclear bombs I can't use. And yes, that is a sabotage going off everywhere. No point keeping them around now. They're getting pummeled really hard. Okay, I couldn't care less about the free military factories. The fact of the matter is they're not able to do very much. Because they're all broken. I don't know why, like, we're not attacking, but pushing along the frontier just means attack everyone. Kind of was just hoping you'd take advantage of this, but, you know, sure. I guess attack everywhere. Got a little bit of manpower right now, might as well. So not ideal, but whatever. I think one of the issues down there is we don't have any tanks, so I kind of want to get maybe these two tanks over here. And that tank, and that tank, and that tank. If we can cut them off from their supply lines, we should be good. Uh... Uh, we will grab heavy fighters. Sure, everybody needs a heavy fighter. It's a lie. That kind of useless, but whatever. Right. Winning in a few places. The game's really starting to chug a little bit now. start sending out tendrils to be able to uh, hit other locations. If your standing next to promise isn't taken, you should be taking it right now. And I don't know why some of you aren't. Manpower is crazy good. Pushing back. We'll stop our attacks. They just aren't getting anywhere, really. Get a few more divisions down here. Spread out a bit. Keep expanding the borders. Iraq's capitulated. Okay. Turkey's lost a bit of land as well. And still, Moscow has not fallen. It doesn't even have any bunkers. I have no idea why Poland just hasn't been able to take Moscow. You know, there might have been reasons they haven't taken it, rather than just, you know, stupidity. But, uh, for left me, I don't know what they are. Yeah, if we can take this, we can then sever these two blobs. France, I didn't know you were still living like somewhere. You've got an entire little island to yourself. No, items. 
Right, well, we're going to end it here for this episode. Uh, we are getting close to being able to take all the things, but uh, sadly, all the things are kind of fighting back, and that's, frankly, that's not allowed. It's rude, among other things. It's just very, very rude. We should be able to put them in enough of a stranglehold that uh, they will collapse sooner or later. I think we need to have a, a couple of turns off again just to be able to get our manpower back up. Because right now our manpower is kind of suffering again. We'll get there. Eventually. As for uh, MPs, I just don't have the numbers or the manpower to spread out any further. So I'm just going to leave large parts of Europe to just get sabotaged to death. It's going to happen. What I could do is slow that down by, if we go for, how do we do it again? Right, resistance, and then we go for gentlest, 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 gentlest. Let's slow down the rate at which they uh, destroy everything. You are really good at defending. I will give you that. I'll try and give it a bit of a push all along the watchtower. I think we might be able to get the edge ones if we're lucky. The center ones are more of a holding experience. Even with tanks. But, I was going to say, for now, I've been Andrew Lysium. If you've liked, uh, please remember to like the video. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Hit the little bell button that says, uh, please notify me when new videos come up, because otherwise you don't get any notifications, which kind of feeds the point of being subscribed. But anyway, until next time, yeah, the attack failed. Stay shiny.